Okay, so I think I'm a little late to this party, but this is the other half of the tutorial I was putting together. I just recently released a plugin that would do the first half of this, so if you have a custom character, you can um, pick up this thing that I have on my art station. Um, it, it only works with Maya, but it does include OBJ, so you can create some similar in other programs. There is a tutorial just within that package itself, so I don't want to get into it here. This is mainly the part of getting Live Link and everything enabled in Unreal 5 and importing everything and setting it up. This <laughs> obviously isn't a great setup right here. Um, it was really just to get enough to build off. So at this point, it would be a lot of refinement, tuning. You can see a lot of the um, blend shapes actually affect the chest and body of this particular character. These are things that I was very much aware of, but for the sake of this project, I just don't have enough time to go in and uh, complete it to that degree. I really just wanted to put this together for anyone who's interested in using the things that I made available and also I just wanted to catalog it for myself in case I happen to look at this in future. My timing is not fantastic because Unreal just released a custom character to MetaHuman uh, plugin and that looks quite promising. I'm not sure to what degree uh, custom characters can look like, so I'm probably going to have to play around with that in some future video. And uh, yeah, I'll just go through everything that I did before. Here we are in Maya. I'm just showing you the blend shapes against my character. You can see that it's all working. The rig's all there. Everything's bound correctly. Now I'm doing a uh, export selection. This is going to differ from program to program. Fairly basic stuff, everything's pretty much standard. Here I am importing it. This is pretty important just to see if the export worked properly. So you can see where the blend shapes are there, hidden on the side and the outline are there. And the materials look broken because it's only connecting some of them. Here I am checking the blend shapes again. Pretty happy with it. Now I'm launching Unreal Engine. We're going to just enable all the plugins that we need to. Once Unreal is opened, open up this plugins panel. We want to search for AR kit, enable all, all of the uh, AR kit modules, these two, and then let's go and check out Live Link. And I think you only need to enable the top two, but I just went ham and uh, went through and enabled everything. A lot of it's experimental, as you can see, and then just restart the editor. So now we're back in. I'm just importing uh, the Bugman character that I've got. One thing you want to double check is that your morph targets are imported. And another thing that I try to check for is just the uh, combined meshes. It's a little easier to deal with. Another thing to check here is just to make sure that the, um, the character is at the correct orientation. I forget which one Unreal uses. I, I believe it's like negative 90 on the X or something. If it's wrong, just re-import it. Here we go. We've got Bugman. There he is. Right. We're just double-checking the blend shapes here. You can see that some of them are... Uh, really just affecting his body <laughs> but they're all there in that panel all the joints are there 
Now this is included in the uh, in the link in the description. I imported it incorrectly there. Um, so what you want to do is this: open up uh, Explorer, and then just drag these files in to that location. You really only need the one. Click on click on this right here. Go ahead and yes. Select the new rig. And what you're doing is retargeting it. So you'll see you'll get a bunch of warnings down here. Because Bugman doesn't have any eyes or anything like this, I just excluded that from the blueprint blueprints entirely. You just plugged in the um you know, the end there. <laughs> um and yeah, now I'm just going to go through and fix the remaining uh, warnings, retargeting the joints to the, the ones that are available. I'll be giving links to all the, um, the resources I happen to come across. Everything's in the description. So once we have it, at this point, we can go through, just change your um, phone. Just make sure that's there. Hit compile. And we're, we're away. You can see that, you know, it's obviously calibrated for another rig <laughs> character. <laughs> and yeah, the <laughs> settings need to be adjusted, but it's all there. This is the base that you would use. So I was having a whole bunch of uh, issues just connecting my phone to Unreal Engine 5. The IP4 address is the one that you want to use. So you just find that on your PC in the network settings there. And the other one was just setting your network from public to private. I, I didn't realize that was an issue, but um, if it's public, it's hidden entirely from the network. So enable that and you should be away. I hope this helps anyone who's interested in doing anything like this. Thank you very much.